I studied graphic design when I was 17, 18 and um, started painting just towards the end of the course and I sold um, some paintings through some galleries in Edgecliff and Paddington at that age, so I was about 19 and I just kept painting and haven't stopped so I thought I was going to have to work as a graphic designer which would have been fine but as it's turned out I have been able to paint um, the whole time. I paint what I love and what I always come back to is uh, the water and the landscape mostly of Sydney. I have painted other cities um, and they've been okay but I, I paint what my, where my heart is and my heart is in Sydney. So whether that be the um, southern beaches where I grew up or, or the, the harbour, there's so many excellent places to paint around Sydney. I could, be, I could paint it my um, whole life and never get sick of it. There's so many interesting little aspects to Sydney. I think although abstract has had been very popular, like very abstract, as in non-representational abstract, has been popular in recent years, uh, I think there are certain, a large part of the market still like to be able to understand a painting and still like to be able to recognise something that they know in that painting and so that it means something to them. So um, when I do landscape I, I make sure I include the, in a contemporary relaxed way, I, I do try to include the landscape as it, re, as it mostly is with the right houses in the right spots and the right boats in the right spots so that people can actually recognise where they might live or where their boat is moored. Um, and I think that's why people have tend to like uh, this painting, these paintings, not all people, but some people like these paintings because they can relate to them and they can understand them and, that, and it means something for them. It was a surprise actually, um, a nice surprise. And then an even nicer surprise when the gallery owner asked me to do another few and, um, and then they sold. It was weird to think that something that I created was on somebody else's wall and then actually paid money for it. Uh, about a quarter of the work is commissions. I couldn't do commissions all the time solely because I'm painting what somebody else wants me to paint. And although I'm grateful to have the work and I know that and I'm not complaining about the commissions. It, is, it can be a hard gig if um, you're painting what other people want you to paint, not necessarily what you feel like painting that day. Uh, I haven't had any problems. I haven't had anyone reject a painting, a commissioned painting, and since I've been doing them, which has about, been about 15 years for commissions. Uh, because we're, the gallery owner and I are pretty careful when we accept commissions from people. We, I draw them a sketch of, um, which will show them compositionally what the painting will be like. They can at that point make changes to the sketch. Um, and I, we talk about the colour with them. I don't necessarily show them the exact colour because it's a bit difficult. But they might look at another painting of mine and say I like th those colours. Um, so once they've approved a sketch and we've talked about the colouring and how loose or uh, sort of abstract, the level of abstract the painting will have, uh, they sign off on that on that sketch and the gallery owner gets a deposit. Um, so there's no surprises and we go to those lengths because so there is no surprises and what's in my mind for the painting is, isn't completely different to what's in their mind. This is going to be going to Matter Bay, believe it or not. This is the Gunnamatta Bay Pavilion right there. This is the baths, the swimming baths with jump off. That's that. And it's going to be the sand coming out, so it sort of does that. It's very curvy. Lots of boats, and this is the headland. The Woolaware Road would be the address. No, that's it. That's my, that's the design concept for this for this painting. I, I don't exactly know, I never know until I'm halfway through or three quarters of the way through how long exactly it will take. Some, ta I, some I go overnight and take a few days. Uh, others, if they're very loose and very relaxed and I'm in the moment, it will only take a few hours. So it, dep it depends how, how it progresses along. 
And there's not a lot of young people painting the uh, local scenes in a contemporary way. There's quite a lot of traditional painters painting locally, but there's, I think there's a big market for a more contemporary, relaxed approach to the Shire's scenery. So, um, and if I don't paint, I haven't painted the Shire for a few years, and I always feel a little bit guilty for not painting my own area. Uh, so, then again, there isn't a lot of gallery choices in the Shire, and there's very, very few that will, uh, will cope with contemporary work, as most of it is very traditional and realistic. So, which is one of the reasons I can't paint as much as I would like to of the Shire, because there's just simply nowhere to, to sell it or exhibit it. For me, it, it is about an, an income in that I do paint what I believe will sell, because I do have a mortgage, I do have children, uh, need me to earn something. However, if I, even if it earned me nothing, I would still definitely paint, but I'd probably be painting more as a hobby and painting on the weekends because I do, I do love to paint and I feel very privileged that I can um, have in the past been able to make a living painting. One of the biggest problems with painting is overworking a painting and working on it so much that suddenly you've lost, you've lost what was good about it. I see it with my children when they paint. I have to be really careful not to overwork it because once I've overworked it and put too much detail into it, it's lost, it's lost the original feeling that I, that I wanted for the painting. So it'll be finished when I think it looks good <laughs> and when there's no canvas showing through and there's enough detail on it to look like it's finished, but not too much. About 30% of my paintings go overseas to many different countries, um, including a lot of Europe, Japan. Uh, the, I've had commissions from Singapore and the States. Uh, one of them has ended up in the Sultan of Brunei's collection. People want a reminder of their trip, so they'll buy a painting of Sydney. And a lot of people who have lived in Sydney for a while want something to remember their city by, or the city that they've stayed in.